How is it going everybody? You're watching the Nabal Tech and Apple has just released its latest update to iOS 17, iOS 17.3, which is actually the third major software update to iOS 17 and it includes quite a lot of awesome new features, including one that I'm sure you're gonna wanna enable and start using right now. So let me go ahead, show everything you need to know, and of course, tell you if you should update your iPhone or not. Let's get started. Okay, so first things first, we have to talk about it. We have to talk about the stolen device protection, the brand new feature that everyone must enable right now on their iPhones. So if you actually go ahead and go to your settings, scroll down just a bit, tap on face ID and passcode, and then type in your lock screen passcode, you're gonna scroll down until you see stolen device protection. As you can see, it's already turned on and enabled and set up on my iPhone. And as you can see, that's a dedicated security feature for the hypothetical scenario of your iPhone being stolen or somebody finding your iPhone if you lose it, for example. So it's the first dedicated feature for this, for protecting your iPhone in a scenario of somebody stealing it. So extremely important, awesome new feature. I absolutely love it. So this feature is actually so important and so relevant that I actually have a dedicated video here on the channel just talking about it. So please tap on this card right here, link in the description, and you go straight to that other video where you can learn how to actually enable it, set up, and I tell you every single little detail about stolen device protection. But of course, you can do that after watching this video. And of course, I will tell you overall what this feature actually does. So stolen device protection will actually create multiple layers of protection on some very sensitive features on your iPhone. So let's imagine a scenario where you lost your iPhone and someone found it, or maybe somebody stole your iPhone from you, right? So the first thing this kind of people will do is actually go ahead here, open up your Apple ID settings and start messing right here. So disabling Find My, uh, changing your passcode, changing your Apple ID, and that's super simple to do. Well. It was super simple to do because with stolen device protection, as I said, there will be multiple layers of protection on those very important settings. The list is very long. Stolen device protection will protect a ton of features on your iPhone, but I'm gonna focus on those ones, of course, all the details on my dedicated video, as I mentioned. So the way it works is if a thief goes ahead and tries to change something here, disable something here, it's actually gonna ask, for Face ID, so it's actually gonna ask for the biometrical authentication or Touch ID, of course. But not only that, even if the thief manages to get your face or your fingerprint, it's gonna have a one hour delay before they can do anything. So there will be a countdown, okay, even after authenticating with your face or thumb, there will be a one hour delay, one hour countdown where they won't be able to do anything and then after that one hour, it's gonna ask for Face ID or Touch ID again. So then making sure that the thief won't be able to do it because of course they're gonna steal your iPhone and run away. So they won't be able to have your Face ID one hour later. So it's super safe, it's gonna protect your iPhone so, so much. And of course, there are many more details about this feature that I super recommend that you check out my dedicated video, but that's probably the most important thing in iOS 17.3, super, super important, right? Now, we have to talk about this, the new wallpaper. This wallpaper is brand new to iOS 17.3. As you can see, it changes colors, it has animations. It's super, super cool, and it's even better because it has meaning. Let me tell you what I mean. So if you go here to your settings, scroll down until you see wallpaper, and then add a new wallpaper, and that's how you pick it if you wanna choose it on your iPhone, right? You're gonna scroll down a bit more, a bit more, until you get to Unity. So, as I said, it has meaning. Let it load, it's gonna load in a few seconds. So, as you can see, it's designed by Black Creative and allies at Apple to honor black history and culture. So then, it's an honor and a celebration of Black History Month 
in the US, right? You have the normal typical color, super colorful right here. You have this other option all in uh, tones of red, right? And you have here green and other options. So super cool. You can choose any of those and even slide and see all the options as you can see, add and there you go. As I'm already using it, I'm gonna keep it like that. So brand new wallpaper, really like it. Now we have to talk about music because we have new features in the Apple Music app and I really love it as well because it has to do with playlists. So if you actually go ahead and open up a playlist that you have created, it has to be one of your own playlists. For example, this one of jazz and blues that I have, uh, as you can see right here, we have a new button, which is for collaboration. So as I tap on it, as you can see, invite people to join. As you tap on start collaborating, it's gonna take a second, all right, to, to create this new collaborative playlist. And what you'll be able to do is actually have people with you listening and editing and adding new music to this playlist. So it'll not only be your playlist, it'll be your playlist and your husband's, your fiance, your friend. So you'll be able to use the playlist with them, kind of as a little group, right? So, so cool new feature. Of course, here you can choose how you wanna share uh, this invitation with the person you want to, right? And then as they accept, they'll be right here with you. And as you can see right here, there will be a little face, a little head showing uh, who's the person who actually added that song. Since I added them all, it's gonna be just me, it's, it's just mine for this moment, but as I have more people in and they add more music, it'll be their face and so on. So then, super cool way to share a playlist and to share a music experience with your loved ones. And it actually gets even better than that because you can react to any and all songs here on your playlist. For example, you can tap on a song, and let me just kill the volume, of course, and as you can see right here, I have this song, and you have this button to add a reaction. So you can react to any song in that collaborative playlist. For example, you really like it, you can put a heart, and then there will be a heart with your name, with your little head, so everyone in this playlist will know you loved that song. And it'll show up like that as well, so really, really cool. As I said, think of it as a little group that you have with your friends for music. Super cool, really love it, and I'm sure everyone who uses Apple Music will use it as well. Moving on, we're not done yet, iOS 17.3 also introduces AirPlay Hotel. That's actually a feature that was supposed to be released alongside iOS 17.0, so Apple talked about this feature as an iOS 17 feature, but it got delayed and it was just introduced and released now in iOS 17.3. And the way this works is pretty much just like your typical AirPlay at home, where you just uh, pair your iPhone with an Apple TV or any compatible TV, right? And you stream content, you share content the same way. But the difference is with AirPlay Hotel, you actually have more privacy. So AirPlay Hotel will be installed on TVs in hotel rooms, right? And then when you wanna go ahead and share some content with those TVs from hotels, your iPhone will identify it, will know it's not your TV, it's a public TV, and then it'll not share any private information from you just stream the content so very very good because you can share anything put on the tv and you know no one will have your information your data nothing like that apple hasn't really told us which hotels will actually have this feature but it's one of those things that'll take some months and years and then all tvs in all hotels will have airplay hotel moving on opening up your settings and then if you scroll down and tap on general we have this new section right here called apple care and warranty if you tap on it you'll see in a very nice interface all your products, all your devices linked 
to your Apple ID and you can easily see their warranty status. So if they are still under warranty or if the coverage has already expired. So you can see your own iPhone, right? As you can see, you can see when it expires and everything like that, perfect. But of course you can check other devices that you have and older devices that have already their warranty expired. Uh, if you have Apple Care Plus, it will show up here as well. So you can check all the details, super, super cool for all your devices. Nice new interface. And last but not least, I can't believe I'm talking about this still. If we scroll down here and if we tap on Emergency SOS, I'm pretty sure you already know. If we scroll down a bit more, we have here crash detection. That's right, more optimizations in the crash detection system. So as you know, uh, Apple introduced crash detection as a feature for the iPhone 14 series. So it's only available in the iPhone 14 series and 15 series. And it's supposed to work when you are involved in a severe car crash. So then your iPhone will automatically uh, call and contact emergency services and they will go ahead and rescue you, right? It's amazing feature. But the thing is, it doesn't really work all the time. And many times it'll work, it'll actually think you are in a crash when you are skiing or when you are riding a roller coaster or something like that. And it's a mess because it'll call emergency services and you're just having fun, right? So uh, we have here more optimizations in the crash detection system. And we hope this time they can manage to fix it, but I believe we're gonna see it again, right? So that's pretty much it. That's everything new to iOS 17.3, an awesome new software update. And if you ask me, it's pretty obvious that I do recommend, I super recommend that you update your iPhone right now to iOS 17 if you are already running iOS 17, right? Please make sure to go ahead and check out my dedicated video on stolen device protection. So card here, link in the description, go ahead, check it out, update your iPhone and start using it ASAP, okay? So thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you on the next video as usual guys, bye bye.